Finding Common Ground in the Face of Client Prejudice with Amy Rubin. Hi, my name is Amy Rubin. I'm a counselor in Nova Scotia, and I wanted to share something that's happened. Actually, it's happened twice in the years that I've been a counselor, and that is that I am a Jewish person. And twice when I've been working in organizations, I have had someone come to me to have me as a counselor. And it's turned out that the person has had some involvement in white supremacist organizations. And what's interesting in Nova Scotia, which is perhaps different from where you are, is that things like my appearance and my last name, people are less familiar with the cues that that I'm a Jewish person. And so in both cases, the person upon first meeting me wasn't wasn't aware. And it in one case, it came out in the initial intake that it was part of part of something that they had been involved with recently. And in my organization, there were there were protocols for safety, as there likely will be wherever wherever you end up working. Um, and I'd have to say I had a moment where my heart was jumping out of my chest. But at the same time, the counselor and the person seeking counseling, it's such a unique relationship. And because there's both a vulnerability and an intimacy, there's not the same power dynamic that happens when you're just you know, walking down the street. And in this first case where the person disclosed in the intake, I froze for a moment. And then I thought, well, we, we've got to just name this. And so I said, okay, I need you to know that I'm Jewish. And if that's going to be a problem for you, then we're going to need to sort that out right now before we go any further. And I've never seen someone turn so red <laughs> as it happened. <laughs> and he said, no, no. And uh, for, for this particular incident, actually both of them, I was working in drug and alcohol treatment centers. And what an irony that this person comes feeling like their life is really kind of hanging in a balance and that they really need to reach out for help. And the person that they end up with is me. So they were willing to be humbled and, and, and see what would happen. And I was willing to assume that this person in both cases had lived a life with certain types of experiences and what is counseling if not an opportunity to change and shift and grow and my personal safety felt okay both times and so that didn't feel like an issue and we were able to make some time to explore it as two human beings. And it was wonderful because they both ended up being people who I worked with for quite a long time. And we were able to really develop um, a mutual respect and a fondness for each other. So if you're a person like I am who believes that there are many reasons why people might get involved in uh, something and that the more people who are whole and healed and look at their early wounds, the better. And the more that will create a compassionate, healthy community and world, then what a better place to meet someone than than in a spot like that. So if these people had had counselors who were not part of a um, minority community, if they had not had that opportunity, it probably wouldn't have been addressed. And as it happened for both of them, they did not feel like they had a, a, a lot of safe places to really 
explore these experiences and feelings and thoughts in a way that could ultimately leave, lead to healing. They were with people who were either, um, you know, part a part of the white supremacist community and 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 pushing that uh or people who for very understandable reasons were at a place where that didn't feel safe to them to engage and so i feel very lucky that it happened in an environment and in a way that i felt safe and that i could offer a way for them to explore what they were feeling and in a context where eventually and quite quickly we developed a close relationship and I knew that they uh I knew that they liked me and I knew that it would be hard for them to hold both things as being true and so I don't know that I can change a person's mind on something like that in a counseling session. But what I do know is that it created what I consider to be a very unique environment and a unique opportunity. And it might have been a little bit of a window where some change was possible. And and it helped me because it helped me find a way to keep my integrity and my self-respect and stand strongly in my own morals, as well as being able to have compassion for the person I was working with.